Hello and welcome in this video series of Azure Logic Apps. Today we are going to learn how we can create a single level approval based workflow using Azure Logic Apps. In the previous video we learned how we can create our first Logic App on the Azure portal. If you are new to the channel, I will provide link to that video in the description box. In the next video we will learn how we can create multi-level approval based workflow using Azure Logic Apps. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. Once we have successfully signed into the portal, let's click on this create a resource button. So from here, either we can choose the resource that we are going to create from this dashboard or we can directly search the resource from here using search box logic apps so this is the resource that we are going to create click on create so for subscription currently we are using this free trial so under resource group we are going to choose the resource group under which this resource will be created so let's use this YouTube demo logic app resource group. So then we have to choose the name of the logic app. Let's say single level email based workflow. Email based approval workflow. Then we have to choose the publish option either we can use this workflow or this docker container for now we are using this workflow so in this option we will be able to design the logic app using the azure portal then this region will be chosen by default from our resource group then we have to choose the plan either we can go with the standard or the conception one so for now let's go with the standard one then this windows plan and pricing plan will be chosen automatically based on our configurations then we have to choose the zone and tendency for now we are not going to enable this because we don't want our app to be hosted on multiple zones let's click on review and create click on create Deployment is in progress. Click on go to resource. So from here we can design our workflow. Click on workflows. So currently we have not added any workflow. Let's add a new one. Let's say email workflow. Let's say stateful for now and then click on create we have successfully saved our workflow click on the workflow go to the designer so here we have to choose the trigger so let's search for http trigger http request So these are the settings for this trigger so once we save our logic app a url will appear here trigger that url in our browser this app will be executed so let's click on add add an action search for outlook so here we have to send an approval email send approval email so this is an approval based workflow so let's add one more action so that will be a condition condition so 
then we have to choose the actions based on if the condition is true and if the condition is false if the condition is true we are going to send one more email to the user that your request was approved so search for outlook send an email and if the condition is false then again we are going to send an email that your if the condition is false then again we are going to send an email that your request was rejected search for outlook send an email so now let's configure our workflow so for this http trigger we do not need to change any settings for now and let's go to send approval email here we have to specify the email address to which this approval email will be sent let's say and me debugger at gmail.com then we have to choose the importance for now let it be normal then the subject of the email let's change it to approval request from codebyte we can have then we have to choose the user options so we have these two approve and reject then let's go to this condition here we have to choose the condition that if true this part of the logic app will be executed if false then this part of the logic app will be executed so let's say choose a value so let's say this send approval email selected option so selected option will be either approve or reject based on the user's response then we have this is equal to if the selected option is equal to approve we can also say if the selected option is less than greater than not equal to, starts with or something based on our requirements so then we have to configure this send email let's send this email to and meet debugger at gmail.com and specify the subject so it's true part of the logic app let's say request approved we have to specify the subject then we have to specify the body let's say hi your request was approved thanks code byte let's copy this part of subject and then we have this importance or now let it be normal let's configure this part of the email so let's paste it here say rejected so here and me debugger gmail.com we have to specify the subject let's say request rejected let's save our workflow close this go to the HTTP request copy this URL paste it in browser and say hit so our logic app has been triggered let's go to our mailbox gmail so here we have received this email from this logic app select one of the options below to respond let's say approve for now let's go again to our mailbox refresh it so we have received this hi your request has been approved let's again run our logic app copy let's go to mailbox refresh it so we have received one more request this time let's reject this 
so you are thank you your response has reject has been successfully registered let's go to our mailbox again refresh it so the request to reject was not sent let's again let's go to our large gap check this false part so here is a problem I have not entered the correct mail ID so it should be a and D M E D E B U G G E R. let's say our workflow Click on HTTP request, copy this URL, paste it in browser. Logic app must have triggered an email. Let's go to mailbox. Refresh it. So we have received this approval request again. Let's reject it this time. So our response has been successfully registered. Let's go to our mailbox again. Refresh it. So we have received this rejection email how your request has been rejected so this way we have successfully completed our first large gap with a single level email based approval workflow thank you for watching